Hey there, if you're a mama or a doula trying to support the labor process, this video is for you. I'm Bridget Tyler, I'm a childbirth educator, birth doula, and a mama currently pregnant with my third, and I'm going to walk you through the miles circuit. The reason why the miles circuit can be so helpful in making labor start or progress is because of how it impacts baby's position in your womb. If baby is in a less than optimal position, it can be causing them to be bone on bone with their head on your pelvis. Sometimes this happens in an OP position where baby's head is against mama's back and it hits against mama's sacrum. Or it can be a different position that baby's in that is just causing some obstruction between them and their descent. The mile circuit can help turn baby so that they fit into and through the pelvis a little bit easier. Now, if you do absolutely nothing and you simply let labor unfold in its own time and move in tune with your body, the likelihood is, is that your baby will move down and out just fine, but it may take more time or it might be a little bit more uncomfortable. So the mile circuit can help a lot if you want to use it, but also trust in your bodies and babies innate ability to move through this birthing process safely and skillfully. With that being said, let's go through the three steps of the mile circuit. The first is the open knee chest position. Make sure you go pee before doing this, then come down onto a flat surface. You'll be on your knees for about 30 minutes, so I recommend getting something soft to place under your knees. So either on your bed, a yoga mat, or some pillows. In a hands and knees position, you'll lower your chest down to the earth as much as you can. Partners, you can get behind mama and do some light touch massage or fascia release, which is something that I teach you how to do in my built to birth course. What this position is doing is helping bring baby out of the pelvis just a little bit while also releasing and lengthening the tissues in the uterus to make it more balanced for when baby does come back down so that they can resettle in a more optimal position to either start or progress labor. Now, after that 30 minutes is up, you're going to hop into your next position, which is the exaggerated side lying position. Try to do this right after open knee chest, but of course, grab water, go pee, do what you need to do before getting into this one. Again, you're going to want to be on a soft surface for this one. I recommend a bed and several pillows to use to support your body. To do this, you're going to start on the opposite side that your baby is on. So if your baby baby's back is more on your right side, you're going to start by coming onto your left side and doing this position and vice versa. If your baby's back is more on your left side, then you're going to come on your right side. And if you don't know what your baby, what side your baby is on, don't stress about it. Just start on your left side. For this video, I'm going to start on my left side. Then you're going to bring the top leg as high up towards your chest as possible while keeping your bottom leg nice and straight, and then drape your top leg over a stack of pillows in front of your body. You'll probably need a couple under your leg for support and then a couple for your head and chest. Your belly button should be facing directly towards the earth as much as possible, which means your shoulders should both be on the pillows as if you are lying on your belly. This is using gravity to encourage your baby to turn to face your back so the back of their head is more towards the front of your body. Now, according to the official mile circuit, you only need to do one side, but I actually recommend doing this on the other side as well before moving on. But if you only have time for one side, then maybe you can come back to the circuit later on and switch sides at that point. You'll be in this position for another 30 minutes. Then you wanna get up and get moving. This again is using gravity to draw baby back down into your pelvis and resettle onto your cervix to help progress labor. The three movements are a standing lunge where you prop one foot up onto an elevated surface, curb walking where you walk with one foot up on the curb and the other on the lowered ground, and stair walking where you walk up your stairs sideways going one or two steps at a time. These movements are rocking the pelvis open from side to side, and this has the biggest impact 
on the mid pelvis space. You want to make sure your lunged leg is out to the side of your body and your belly is facing forward and you're not lunging with your belly going into your bent knee. Now, if your baby is still high in the pelvis, you're actually going to want to focus more on opening the top of the pelvis. And you can do that by doing big hip circles on a birth ball or doing cat cow on all fours. I talk in depth about how to open each level of the pelvis in my birth course, which is linked down below. But if you're in labor now, you might be thinking it's too late, but it might be worth it to you to avoid more interventions to get the built to birth course, watch the specific lessons about the levels of the pelvis and progressing labor and using positions and movements and applying that to the labor that you're in right now. I know for some of you, it will totally be worth it. And for birth workers watching this, it will definitely be worth it. So I'm going to link it down below for you. You'll be doing these movements, these lunge positions for about 30 minutes alternating sides. So 15 minutes lunging on one side and then 15 minutes lunging on the other side or five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side, and then switching every five minutes or so till you get to 30 minutes. So total, you'll be doing the circuit for about an hour and a half to two hours. While it is time consuming, the first two positions are mostly active rest positions. So that helps out a bit. And this circuit can be super impactful in moving labor forward, sometimes even starting it. You can do this at any point in pregnancy and labor. So give this circuit a try and let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. Thanks for being with me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.